let's go ahead and set up our Android Studio. Back to the web, look up Android Studio, and it's usually the, the top hit right here. Download Android Studio. And go ahead and click on the screen box, read the terms, accept the agreement, and download. Okay, and this is uh, almost a gigabyte, so I'll catch up with you guys in just a moment. Click yes. Next. Yes, we want everything you're offering. Agree to the terms. Agree to more terms. Um, if you guys want, you can go ahead and change locations here. And actually, I am going to change everything to my E drive. If you don't have multiple hard drives, don't worry about that. Um, mine are relatively small. I have 25 uh, gigs left on the first one, and I've got 67 on my last solid state drive. Um, I don't really use this because it's actual uh, disk, not solid state, so whatever. But So that's why I'm changing mine to the E drive. Anyway, click next. Uh, two gigs is fine. And install. And this is going to take a little while, so I'll catch up with you guys in just a minute. All right, now, as you're installing, you might come across this error. Um, it says fail to install Intel Haxum. Okay, so Intel Haxum, this is a hardware accelerated execution manager. So basically, in layman's terms, what this does is it speeds up emulation. Um, so when we're using Android Studio, we're going to be emulating a phone. Um, we can make our own multiple different types of phones. Um, but we're going to be emulating one of these phones, and we want it to be quick. We don't want to sit around waiting. So um, we're actually going to fix this. Uh, we don't have to use it. There's a way around it. However, fixing it's the best option for us. So we'll fix that, don't worry about it. Uh, the installation is going to be complete. We'll go ahead and click Next. And we do not want to start Android Studio yet. Okay, so we could just uncheck that and click Finish. All right, so next, let's go ahead, go to the Start button again. We're going to search for Android. Android, there it is, Android Studio. Right click, and we're going to send to the desktop. That way we have a shortcut for it. And now right click on that shortcut and run as administrator. Click yes. And it should start Android Studio up. Um, asking if we want to import settings. Nah, I don't have a version set up yet, so. Fetching Android SDK component information. All right, now this is your choice, guys. Um, IntelliJ or uh, <laughs> Darkula, uh, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Hilarious. Okay, um, I'm just <laughs> I'm just gonna stick with IntelliJ. Click next. Okay, once that screen gets done downloading all those components, we can go ahead and click finish. And this is why we ran um, Android Studio as an administrator. Uh, this is so we can go in and go to configure, not having any issues. Um, SDK Manager is where we're going right now. Go ahead and click that. All right, so you can see that it already has 16 packages that it wants us to install. Now, if you go scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see Intel x86 Emulator Accelerator, Haxum, and it's not installed. Um, we want that. So now we're going to click Install 17 Packages. Um, this might take a little while, so once again, I'll catch up with you guys when it's completed. Oh, well, let's go ahead and click on one of these and accept the license. Scroll down, click, accept the license, and accept license, and then install. All right. See you guys in just a minute here. All right. Now that we've got all of our packages installed, we can go ahead and close this out. Click back, start a new Android Studio project. Okay, application name. Now in the Google Play Store, this is what your application is going to be called. So, I mean, obviously this is a, kind of like a test application. So just go ahead and name it whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna name mine test. Okay, project location. 
Um, you can keep it on your C drive. Um, I'm obviously going to put mine on my E drive. That's where I'm saving everything. Okay, we can go ahead and click Next. Um, you can make, of course, <laughs> applications for TV and wear, which would be something that you're physically wearing. Um, we're not going to do that. It's kind of crazy. Let's start with uh, phone and tablet. And uh, actually, ice cream sandwich is it's kind of older. Um, I'm actually using Lollipop on my phone right now. So I'm going to go build Lollipop. Go ahead and click Next. All right, add an activity to mobile. Now, an activity, um, in short, is basically a screen. Uh, so one activity might be your home screen. A uh, different activity might be, you know, a totally different screen. So that's what an activity is. Let's just start with a blank activity and click Next. Main activity. Sure, we can call it main activity if we want. Once again, this is just a test application, so it doesn't really matter what we name everything. We're just making sure our Android Studio works. Okay. And... No, I don't want any tips. All right, so your first project might open up something like this. No files are open. You can go to project on the left side screen here, and then double click on activity main, and it'll open up your project. All right, so here we have our phone, but we want to start an emulator. Uh, that's the entire point of making sure that um, our Android Studio is working. So you're gonna go up to the play right here, press play, all right, Android Virtual Device Nexus 5. Go ahead and hit OK. All right, so now we're getting an error saying that hex module is not installed. OK, so we were pretty sure that we installed this before, right? It's true. Yep, we did. Now, installing it is the first, uh, first priority. The second thing, and the reason why it's not installing properly, we can go ahead and uh, disconnect here is because virtualization is not turned on on our machine. All right, so basically we have to access our BIOS for our computer, and I can't use this recording software to get over there, so I'm gonna use my phone. Okay, I'm gonna do my best so you guys can see here, but we're gonna go down to start, and we're gonna restart our machine. And now you'll see a prompt to see if you wanna access the BIOS. Um, my button's delete. You might have like F2 or hold F2. See, mine says delete there. So I press delete. Okay. Advanced CPU configuration. So we're dealing with our processor here. And we'll see that we have a few different options here, including Intel virtualization technology. So we want to enable that. Okay. And all the way over. Save changes and reset. Click yes. Okay, and we're back. Let's head over to start button, computer. Um, I saved everything on my E drive. You guys are probably on your C drive. Uh, so click your respective drive. Go to users, PC, app data, local, Android, <laughs> SDK1, and extras. Okay, so this is uh, Intel Haxim. Here it is, Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager. See, at least we downloaded it. So now we're going to install it for good this time. All right, right click, run as administrator. Click yes when it prompts. And click next. Remember seeing this menu before. Click next again and install. All right, it completed it. Perfect. Uh, we don't want to launch the documentation. I'm not going to read it. So finish. Close that out. Let's restart Android Studio.
Loading our project up. All right, and we're back here. So let's go ahead and launch our project to see if the emulator runs now. All right, come on. There it is. Okay. And now we have to wait for our emulator to start. Hex is working and emulator runs in fast virtual mode. All right, and here's our emulator. Now, the first time you run this, it's actually going to take quite a while to start up. Um, yes, you're running an emulator at a fast speed now, but it still is basically building an operating system from scratch, uh, so it'll take a little while. But if you've gotten here, if you've gotten this far, you're all set. You've got it set up completely.